Hello everyone, this is Elias5891 here with another Contain Module tutorial. Uh, we're hitting the needies again this time. I'm going to cover the math, answering questions, and rotary phone needy modules. Uh, we're going to start with math. Um, you'll, if you've done the emoji math, the keypad should look similar. It's part of the same pack, very similar style. Uh, and it gives you a math problem, and you solve it. 71 plus 70 is 1, 4, 1 equals, and that deactivates it. It's it's a math problem. <laughs> um, you can go ahead and put things in before anything comes up. You can also make it go way off the page, which is kind of fun. That's enough. Uh, notice, no strike for submitting that, though, which is hilarious. But I did get a strike for that one. I did not know that if you exceeded the uh, length, it didn't count a strike. Uh, this one, if if your diffuser is okay with math, probably don't even need to get an expert involved. Uh, however, I want to warn you, do not um, make the error I'm intentionally going to make here. Uh, 10 plus 87 should give me 97. Let's say I get in a rush. Maybe I don't realize I pushed that in time. I punch it in wrong, and time runs out. Get a second strike. I already had one, so that's a boom. Uh, you want to make sure that you do give yourself enough time to submit an answer on the off chance you misclick, mistype, put something in wrong, so you get time to undo it before you detonate. Uh, also take note that that did not have a clear button on it. So if you do make a typo, it's not going to be good news. I mean, you can apparently... I didn't know this until just now, but apparently you can put in 8,000 digits and, it, and submit it, and it doesn't seem to care. But normally you're going to get a strike for that. That's math. Uh, answering questions. Um, if you remember, the vanilla needies had the vent, uh, vent gas detonate question one. I forget exactly what that one was called off the top of my head. Uh, but this is the same thing, essentially. It's going to pop up a question. Does the serial number contain duplicate characters? No, it does not. So we hit no. It's disarmed. What was not your previous answer? This one is a little more interesting that in addition to just the same two questions, it has a little bit of a larger pool. For example, it wants to know the opposite of your last answer. Uh, last time I said no, they were not duplicates, so now I want to do the other answer, which is yes. In addition to questions about the module itself, this one will also ask some uh, kind of pop culture -y questions. I, I use that term a little loosely there. Are you a dirty cheater? It also has a sense of humor. Yes, yes I am. Well, you don't know. No, uh, obviously don't say silly answers. You deserve a strike if you say you're a dirty cheater. <laughs> strikes. Uh, this is asking you, do you have strikes? Yes. A little oddly worded, in my opinion, but that's okay. Abort. Um, this one. Uh, if you abort the bomb, notice I only have one strike, but if you abort, you're done. Instant end. Uh, and it'll actually give you more than just, hey, you exploded because of answering questions. No. This time, cause of death, abort. Don't abort. Gets you right out of the bomb. Uh, now, I was going to show, it does ask, as I said, a couple uh, pop culture type questions. Uh, for example, it asks, is Hakuna Matata a wonderful phrase? To which, if you've ever watched The Lion King, you may recall the song starts, Hakuna Matata, what a wonderful phrase. Hakuna Matata ain't no passing craze, in which case, is it a wonderful phrase? Yes. It also asks, is it a passing craze? No. Uh, so it... it, it it has a little bit of humor to it. It's a little, a uh, little less dry than the standard, and that's okay. We like this one. So that covers math. Last up, we're going to be hitting rotary. 
Uh, and for this one, I uh, kind of do need my manual page up. Actually, I don't really need my manual page, but I do need my notepad up. So let's get those going. Uh, ignore this. This is from a uh, something else I was doing. So, rotary phone, we have a rotary phone. It has a number, 428. Notice it doesn't immediately trigger. You need to get that number down first, 428. Uh, and then it starts, and it gives you a new number, 894. What you want to do is you want to sum the two numbers, add them up together, 1,322, and take the right three digits. Three, two, two. And that's done. That takes a little time to input because it's like a rotary phone. It has to go around the dial. So be careful of that. Oh, activate again. 206. So we're going to take our answer from last time, 322. Add 206 gives us 528. 5, 2, 8. That one's done. Uh, every time you get it correct, you're going to take the number you ended with, in this case 528, because that's what I submitted, and the next time it activates, we're going to add to that number. So here in a second, it should activate again. Okay, there it is. Uh, 688. We add that together. We get 1216, so we're going to put in 216, 216. Six, and we're just going to lather and repeat. We drop the part that was not what we submitted, and we're going to keep looping like that. Um, two things to watch out for here. Uh, the first is uh, timing. It does take a little while to register the answer. That's five twelve. Um, and and for the expert, I, I might would suggest if you don't like doing three-digit addition really quick in your head, calculator's not a bad thing to have lying around. Uh, so 512 is my answer. But let's say um, let's say I uh, I foul this up. Five, one. Oh, that was a nine, not a one. And notice these numbers are just in order. Well, now I know I'm going to get a strike when I submit it. So maybe I'm a little lax, maybe I don't want to hit it immediately. Nah, let's go ahead and punch it in too. That's wrong. The number you have reached has been disconnected. I do love that it gives you a little, uh... If you get it wrong, it gives you a wonderful little audio thing. Now notice I missed that one. So what I put in, 592, is not the correct answer. Because it's not going to have me work off of an incorrect answer, it's basically going to have me start over with the 296 that was displayed. So instead of using my answer for the next stage, I'm just going to use whatever the previous number given is as my new starting point. Oh, so that was 296. We're going to add 611. That gives us 907. 9. Oh, 7. That's correct, so we're going to work from there. Uh, if you punch in things when you're not supposed to, uh, it won't let you. None of these are clickable at the immediate moment. Uh, but that's rotary phone. You're just going to keep adding three-digit numbers. Take the last three. Uh, the manual actually says use the uh, three least significant. That would be the three on the right. And you're just going to keep adding that to your new number. If you get a strike, start over from whatever it is when you get the strike whatever the displayed number is, and that gets you the rotary. Uh, so there we go. That is math, answering questions, and rotary phone. Two of three needing math. Maybe I should have stuck HTTP response in here, because sometimes it needs math, but that's okay. Uh, as always, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, suggestions, stick them in the section down below. Uh, but otherwise, it's been Elias. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, until next time, have fun, and don't explode. Bye.